Never take your email to a motel, cause then she'll ring your crazy bells. Dear Colbad, I want to see more of Cooking with Home Team. Alright, you know this is my show. Uh, let's see if Dumb Star's on. Hey, hey, everybody, it's time for Cooking with Home Team. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the newest edition of Cooking with Home Team. After the terrible lawsuit that followed after my Nightmare Juice experiment, today we're going to try something new. Recycling. Because who doesn't love the color green, right? Yeah. So, what are we going to recycle? Of all weird things, French fries. In here is a bunch of leftover French fries, equaling about one pound, I would say. What you do is whenever you go out to the bogo joints and you order your combo meals, and you have those french fries that are left over that you really don't want to eat, but you feel ashamed of throwing them away. What do you do? You bring them home and you stick them in the freezer. Then when you have enough, for about a pound or so, you recycle them and make mashed tates. So let's do it. Alright, so first what you do is you'll take a nice big stock pot, the kind like you make plastic socks out of, and then we put some water in it, about halfway full I'd say. It's a never-ending bottle. Never-ending bottle. And then we take our stock pot of water, put it onto the oven, and then we turn the stove on too high and let the water boil. What? 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 Oh. <clears throat> After it boils, or put an apple, then you take the next step. What we do? is we take our box of Swinchity Flies and be very careful because if they're still frozen, they'll react. Hot water and frozen things are a bad combination. I'm being smart again, aren't I? How does this keep happening? So, very gently, pour in your potatoes. Come closer. Don't be afraid. I won't bite. I don't trust you. Gently shake them in. Shakey, 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 shake. Shakey, 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 shake. And viola. That's what you play. Ah, smell that goodness. Don't you wish you had smell-o-vision internet viewers? We do, because we're awesome. And now, we'll cover it. Like so. And then, we let it sit for about 15 minutes or so. If you have a kitchen timer, that comes in handy. Just set it for 15 minutes. Hit the go button. And then we got to come watch awake. Good eats. Da 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 Hey you! Are you tired of being French? Yeah. With the anti-French spray, you can turn anyone non-French. You can turn this into this. Brilliant! <laughs> wow. The smoke off of these French fries is fabulous. Hey man, you're not recording this, are you? Uh, no, no, just okay. getting a video test. Yeah, because I don't need the McDonald's police coming after me for getting high off the French fries. Everybody knows they drug those things. <laughs> so, when you get close to your time being done, what you can do is go ahead and take a wooden spoon. I suggest wooden because it makes it taste great. Open that up, let some of the steam go by. And give it a nice swirl and make sure everything's nice and soft and gooey, which it certainly looks like it. And then our timer should be going off in about 60 seconds or so. So, while we're waiting for everything to boil, I can show you some of the extra ingredients. We have butter. In this case, it's actually an olive oil spread, but either butter or margarine or whatever you want to use is fine. I have some black pepper. You can do pre-ground, or you can actually do the corns, whichever you like. I have some milk. Personally, I like fat sweet, but if you want a nice, rich, creamy one, go for the one with fat in it. And then I have salt. Again, whatever salt you like. Sea salt, kosher salt, iodized salt, even the uh, salt substitutes if you like them. But you just put a little bit of each as soon as the potatoes are done. And we'll get to that right now.
And so, make sure you tone off the stove. That is highly important. Again, let that lift. Let some of the steam go away. Put that someplace safe. And now, come and look. I do not know whether or not you internet types can see that, but coming slowly to the top is a nice, greasy, oily film. That's what you're putting in your system, people! All that oil! Be quiet, McDonald's gonna sue us again. I don't care! They can do what they want! <laughs> Sorry I pulled that out, boss. I think it was the medicine the doctor gave me. It's made me act weird. Can you see that now, Internet? Now that I've taken it off the heat? How it's got sort of a nice, goldy, orange coating to it? Now watch as I pull it through a stwino. <laughs> Mashed potatoes! Can you see it underneath? You. Anywho, and then we move this off to the side. So, now when you take a look at your potatoes, you should notice that they are very nice and white and soft and gooey. And then if you take your fork, you should be very easily to mash it, which yes, it mashes nice and good. Now we put it into a large bowl. So, we get ourselves a nice large bowl, set it down, wing our mashed potatoes over, which, be very careful, because if you're not, you'll end up slopping water everywhere. Ah, now isn't that a tasty makeover, lady friends? Uh huh? Huh? Oh, right. So, now what we do is with all these mashed potatoes, we take a measuring cup, and we start off with about a cup of milk, I'd say. If you find that they come out too dry, just gently add a little bit of milk each time, giving it a store, making sure that it comes out to the consistency you desire. So, one cup of milk helps cool it down. Ah, nice. And now, I have a potato mashal. If you don't have a potato mashal, a very large fork, like what I was using earlier, will work. But we also have that butter and margarine that I made. This is the way we mash the flies, mash the flies, mash the flies. This is the way we mash the flies so early in the morning. I think your bottom neighbor is going to hate you right now. Probably. I'm making a lot of noise. Now, when you get about halfway through mushing, what you can do is add on that salt and pepper. And that's really a two taste. You can either leave these completely plain and allow your guests to add salt and pepper as they wish, or you can add salt and pepper as you wish. Or Maybe you want it to... Okay? Or garlic. Oh, oh, garlic. Flinchy likes garlic. We don't care what Flinchy likes. Yeah. And, and there we are. No, no, you stay, stay in, in there. The and there you have it, folks. We cycled mashed that's made by the home team Jago. Now you too can make delicious mashed potatoes. Why you?